number one, we're leading the country in carbon emissions. We're ahead of our target. And I, I see us continuing on that trend without a carbon tax. I also see the carbon tax in general as something that will be a job killer. I believe that. And if you look at the pipeline, look where the pipeline is right now. I mean, just look at that project. We're talking about taxing the drums of there's more for a target that we're literally leading the pack in Canada on. Why would we bother? We're just going to tax people. We know there'll be no accountability on where they will put the money. We know there won't. Everybody knows it. They've watched this government for two years. There will be zero accountability for that money goes. So we have, a, we have a province that's leading the country. And it doesn't matter how we target. You know, we know we have a few plants shut down, but we're there, which means we're there. You know, I mean, you can't, it doesn't matter how we got there. So right now, we're leading the pack on that. So for me, and I wrote this down earlier because I knew you wanted to talk about this, it's basic economics, and I'm going to read this to you. Why would you have a plan that on one hand is focused on increasing the cost of carbon-producing energy, so individual behaviors will change to use less energy, when on the other hand, you're handling, handing out money to allow people to make that same energy less expensive in their homes, which economics would say would leave people using more. So here's another factor. If you remember this, I recall a study from California that I used when we were debating the bill that folded energy efficiency into New Brunswick power. It showed that people who accessed efficiency programs tended to use more energy after the fact because they could use more for the same money. So for me, it's, <clears throat> it's basic economics. I mean, you know, you wondered about Warren Hanks' official position. I mean, our, our position is that we don't need any more taxes, number one. We're leading the country in our, in our 2020 target. We're first or second, I believe we were first for a long time. And I, I think that um, this government will never be accountable with what it does with the money if they do impose it. And we're against having the carbon tax. Or against any taxes at this point. But if people make their house more energy efficient and then there's a tax on carbon, won't that be what causes them to not use more electricity? No, not by the study I see in California. And I, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a copy of that and I'll send it to all of you guys to take a look at it. I have it somewhere in my notes, I just couldn't find it this morning, but essentially it showed that. And, and look, our position, we're not going to change our mind. We don't need any more taxes. We don't need to, to have a carbon tax when we're leading the country in our targets. And we know there'll be no accountability. They haven't shown us that there would be. I mean, they've got contingency funds. The Auditor General can't qualify their books half the time. They continue to dump asphalt down up until it snowed. They like to put that on interest. Like, you know what I mean? We, there's no way we're going to find accountability with this government. What if they did like what uh, Michael Chong, federal conservative leadership candidate, is proposing they cut income taxes by the same amount uh, so that people are not paying more, but they're yes. incentive for them to use less energy? I've never seen that. I really, I, I'm sorry, I was here debating the, the bill the other night and I didn't see the debate and I haven't been following exactly what, what Michael Chong has been saying. But uh, we're just, we're against it. Look, and, and, and not because we're opposition. Because we're, the, the facts are, we're leading the country. So why do we need it? Why, why do we need another tax on the citizens of New Brunswick when we're leading the country with our mission targets? We're literally leading the country. I mean, that's something to be proud of. And I know that there were jobs lost and plants closing for us to get to that target, but the truth of the matter is, we're there now. We're there. We have to, we have to look at where we are, and we're doing well in that respect. And I just, we're, we're against carbon tax because there'll be no accountability and some more money in the pockets of New Brunswickers. And the, cal the study from California proves that you're, you're just subsidizing something in the end of it. And that's another practice that this province has to get away from. You keep saying carbon tax, so you're against any kind of carbon pricing mechanism, cap and trade, or some um, kind of blend? At this point, at this point uh, we are. Because, like I said, I mean, why, why do this now? I mean, why? It'd be different if we were, you know, failing miserably on our targets and, you know, I'm sure we probably maybe even have a different opinion if that were the case. But we're, we're hitting our targets. We're ahead of schedule. We're going to exceed them. So at this time, when New Brunswickers have already had a lot of money taken out of their pockets, when you couple that with the fact that we're hitting our targets, the timing is bad. 
You know what I mean? Provinces always have to plan to, to, to have better air quality and manage emissions. I'm, I support all that. That's, that's, that's what good government does. But good government doesn't continue to tax its citizens, even when we're hitting the ball out of the park in that area. So that, that's where we are. Do you think people will be um, hit hard by a carbon tax, the average person? And then do you think it's going to affect people's incomes, disposable income, if they go ahead with this? I live in a very rural riding. It's uh, the biggest one, from Eskimanak to McGivney. And I'm going to tell you, people are hurting. People are hurting in New Brunswick. They don't. They don't have any more to give. Like I see it every day. They just can't take any more money out of their pockets. And you know what? It's it's bothering me right now because I see it. I see people struggling. We used to have mills. We don't have any. Nothing replaced it. Like we, you can't tax the citizens to death. And that's what they're doing. That's what's happening in this province, and it has to be a different method. It's not about what's liberal and what's conservative. That isn't important. What's important is people can't afford to pay it. They can't. And when, while we're already hitting our target, we've got poverty, like you did. I'm telling you, I see it. I've seen it all summer, I see it, I see it all the time. And they don't need another tax. 